Thank you, Aaron. HRT union members, including bus drivers, have been working without a contract for months now. And today, some of those drivers took their concerns straight to HRT. Ten on your side, Danny Fox was at the meeting and let us know what's at issue on why they can't reach a deal. These are union workers for HRT. They are working without a contract and they are going in to tell the board of commissioners they aren't happy about that. Union workers, clearly the most represented group in the HRT commissioners meeting. Bus driver Brenda Williams summed it up this way. We as bus operators, we love our jobs. We love HRT. We're here to find out if HRT loves us. The union indicates it cannot negotiate in good faith until HRT stops using bus safety cameras and fishing through the video to find drivers doing things wrong. HRT's president and CEO William Harrell says the cameras are useful tools. Well, from my perspective, if you're doing your job, you don't have to worry about that. Union president Amanda Malone. The cameras aren't being used for safety. They're being used to discipline employees more so than anything. We asked Malone about Harrell's comments. He's saying, babe, what are you hiding? Let us look at the surveillance video. We're not hiding anything. It's what are what are what are they hiding? And if you get a customer complaint, if it's valid, the the operator is guilty. But to look for other disciplinary actions is is not not right. Harrell also told board members that the fishing issue is holding up contract negotiations, that the union is giving some distant day in October to resume talks and failing to hand over an economic proposal. That going to negotiate it in the media. We need to sit down at the table. If they want to meet today, we are prepared to do so. No contract means no pay raise, although it's clear retro pay will be given once a contract is signed. We shouldn't be here negotiating on a pay raise. We should already have our pay rates. We work, we do what we're supposed to do. We expect you guys to do what you're supposed to do. So it is clear that both sides are very far apart and that there is no set date to continue negotiations. Also, they say they won't try this in the media. In Norfolk, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.